To get the best viewing experience, please consider viewing this video in HD. Hover over the resolution control and select 720p for the highest resolution version of this video. Next, activate full screen mode and this will allow the video player to occupy a larger area for better viewing. Hello and welcome to our Boson XM Max product demonstration video. In this video, we'll spend a few minutes exploring some of the features of our XM Max exam simulation products and the Boson exam environment. The Boson exam environment is the content delivery engine that displays all of the exam simulations that are available in our product catalog. Here on the screen we have the exam selection window in the Boson exam environment. I'll refer to this as the BEE in this video. This is the first window that you see when you launch the BEE. Here we are looking at the My Exams tab. This tab displays the exam products that have been activated and downloaded into the BEE. The Boson exam environment can deliver three different types of exam simulation content. First, our Boson XM Max products. These products are our premier exam simulation products created by our highly experienced in-house exam authors and editors. Boson XM Max products are developed to extremely high standards of technical and grammatical accuracy. All Boson XM Max content goes through a rigorous technical peer review and is then thoroughly edited for grammar, consistency, and style. The BEE also delivers our legacy XM products. These products tend not to be as current and cutting edge and are written by third party authors. They also don't go through the rigorous XM Max review and editing processes. And finally, the BEE is used to deliver content for other companies that use our content delivery infrastructure to deliver their content. It is important to note that Boson is not involved in the creation nor the support of these products. These are typically products found on a CD in the back of many popular books that cover IT exam certification. Let's load an XM Max exam simulation and take a look at some of the features of the BEE as well as some features of the Boson XM Max product content. I'll launch Boson XM Max for 642-901. This exam simulation simulates the 642-901 BSCI exam for the Cisco CCNP certification. The moment I launched this exam, the BEE checked to see if there were any exam updates that needed to be downloaded. After a product has been released, we continue to monitor and maintain maintain the content and if any errors or other issues are discovered, we take quick corrective action and deliver these updates to our customers via an automatic update process so your XM Max exam content is always up to date. Now that we have our exam loaded, we can see that each Boson XM Max exam simulation contains three complete practice exams identified as exam A, exam B, and exam C. Each of these practice exams are designed to simulate both the number of questions, the types of questions, and the level of difficulty that you should expect to find on the certification exam being simulated. Note that each exam can be taken in either study mode or simulation mode. In study mode, the exam time limit is enforced and the correct answers are not revealed, which simulates the actual exam taking process. In study mode, the correct answer is revealed after each question, along with a detailed reference that explains why the correct answer is correct and why the incorrect answers are incorrect. References relevant to the topics covered by each question, for example links to documentation on the vendor's website, are presented as well. Now let's load a practice exam and take a look at some of the features of the XM Max content. I'm going to begin with practice exam A in simulation mode and click begin to start the exam. We see that the practice exam begins and presents us with the first question. We can see the timer running in the upper right hand corner of the window which reminds us this is a timed exam simulation. Whether we select a correct or incorrect answer, the BEE just moves on to the next question. Here we see a Cisco simulation question where the examinee is asked to interact with a simulated network topology and issue the appropriate iOS commands to complete the configuration or correct a configuration problem. We can see the scenario is presented in the upper portion of the screen and the instructions tell us to click the button to launch the simulator when we're ready to begin working through the simulation question. After the simulation loads, we're presented with the simulated network topology with the simulated devices. To interact with any device, we can click on the device whose console we wish to access and we're then able to use Cisco IOS commands to examine the configuration and then to go into configuration mode and issue the appropriate commands to complete the configuration or correct the problem. Here we see a drag and drop question type where we are instructed to 
pick an item from the left and drag and drop it to the appropriate category on the right. And finally, let's take a look at the Simlet question type. In this question type, a scenario is presented in the upper portion of the window. Some router output is provided along with a topology diagram and then the examinee is presented with a series of multiple choice questions that all pertain to the topology and the sample output. After you've answered all the questions in your practice exam, you can click End and Grade and you'll be presented with a score report that lets you know whether or not you met the passing score required for your practice exam. You'll also see on the score report a category breakdown that lets you see how you did in each exam category. You can refer to this score report to help direct your studies so that you can improve in your weak areas before taking your next practice exam. Now let's take a look at practice exam A again in study mode. Study mode is best used after you have taken the practice exam in simulation mode. Study mode lets you go back through the questions, giving you immediate feedback to let you know whether you answered the question correctly or incorrectly. You will be shown the correct answer and a detailed explanation when you click the Show Answer button. These detailed explanations are a major benefit that sets Boson XM Max exam simulations apart from other lesser products on the market. These explanations take you deep into the technology to help you understand why the right answer is right. Memorizing answers does you no good. The goal here is understanding the underlying concepts so you understand the why. It is these detailed explanations that help you do that. You will also see references to outside resources to which you can go for further study. Thanks for taking a few moments to view this video demo. For more information about Boson NetSim and our XM Max exam simulation products, check us out on the web at boson.com.